bro. Shut up. Say something prominent. Is it recorded? Yeah. I, I guess I was thinking about the whole coming of age as young men and young women come to truth within themselves. You know, a lot of times you know, we get uh, a lot of, we think we get a lot of knowledge from the, you know, these schools or whatever our, our peers teach us or whatever we see on the TVs and stuff. But a lot of times we, we forget to, to, to look inside ourselves. You know, we just forget to um, look in depth. Not just, I'm not, I ain't talking about emotion, nothing like that, but you know, spiritually. Saying you look through the scriptures, you know that uh, you know our bodies are temples. You know we gotta, we have to. Be, I mean, just like uh, you, know, you, you got you got your own house, and you know you know where your couch at, you know where your kitchen at, you know where uh, you know where you, where you sit down to take a dump at, you know where uh, the TV at, and all that. We gotta learn. I mean, how to figure out how, now how, how to, uh, you know the stuff that's in our temple, our bodies. How to, how to deal with that. You also gotta learn how to place things in them right. You know what I'm saying? Your temple cannot be a, a place of so much conjunction and so much stuff in there that you just can't function. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be able to zone, be able to zone out and have a, a, a clean floor, a clean ceiling. Dust a lot of that stuff off the ceiling off. You know what I'm saying? Put your couch up against the wall, not in the middle of the room. That's why you tripping so time emotionally and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Cause, uh, <laughs> your, your spirit, your temple just ain't clean, you know what I'm saying? So, when you, when you, uh, so, so all, my, all my youth out there, when you coming into, into uh, this truth, about now, you know who you are. When I say truth, I mean knowing, I mean, your history. Knowing, um, knowing your lineage, knowing that uh, you're not just a nigga like they taught you to be. But you got royal blood. We out here living like peasants, no, no, we got kings and kings, kings and queens blood, you know what I'm saying? And uh you gotta learn how to sh shed all that stuff off. It's a it's a we, we like to look at the stuff, we we like to look have a, a surface view, a surface view of a lot of things, a lot of times. Like, watch the sucker try to go, man. That's how they drive out here. <laughs> but, we like to like look at things like a, a surface view, the black woman, without trying to um, decipher, uh, figure out what's un what's underneath a lot of things, and that, that also comes with history, education, and that surface view. You know what I mean? That got to go. I mean, it's okay sometimes, but you got to look deep in the, into these things. You know what I'm saying, look at these movies they doing nowadays. They, I mean, I've probably seen about about a dozen movies talking about 2012 or. Three years later, it ain't just that they making money off y'all, but that all, all that all that shit right there, man, that's, that's subliminal. You know what I'm saying that it's it, it's like I mean they they know so much passages and, and knowledge about that that whole uh, the Egypt and the, the biblical scripture and all that trying to put uh, all the main calendar and all that they, they putting all that together to make it funny y'all ass and, and making money off it too. Just like they making fun of y'all ass on BET and they making money off y'all too. You know what I'm saying? You gotta look deeper for real. Because uh, not only is you giving up your money, but you giving up your spirit. You don't want to take credit for that, that, uh, that's what you got to You know what I'm saying? You don't want to take credit for them, how, how strong you become. You came a long way. I mean, in the sense, yeah, in the sense, we came a long way ever since I mean, 1865 when they took those physical change off us, off our shackles and all that. Yeah, we got that off. What about that mind? What about this up here? Your, your, your temple. You know what I'm saying? You still struggling to deal with that. You're still living in, in, in a fairy tale land. You know what I'm saying? Still, and, and, and we teach our kids about, you know, Christmas or. This land, and we, we we push that on them so much, just just so that we can uh, just so that they can take care of them, give them something to watch, give them busy work, sit them down from the TV, watch Scooby Doo when we get home from work. 
a lot of fantasy stuff going on with that. And, and, you, and then when we get old, and we wonder why we can't deal with reality. You wonder why we can't deal with reality because we didn't, we have we been indoctrinated by our parents, and our parents done been indoctrinated by this wicked ass side. The scriptures say the hand, the world is in the hand of the wicked. We don't want to pay attention to that though. We want to hear all the love. The love Jesus has to offer. And stop. And that, and that, man, that, it's like people don't even know the name right either. But you're going to do your own studies on that. But you got to figure out how to really deal with reality. Not just reality and what's all this, all this green area and all that. Ground and the air and the sea. But what's behind that? What it really means? How it works? You know Ain't nobody else gonna give it to you. I just said, probably said in some videos before, all this is free. Knowledge is free. Don't take what's just given to you. You know what I'm saying? There was a bunch of cults that they had so much beliefs in these cults uh, in history, and the leaders of these cults they killed them all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not getting hit down by a car today. And uh, I'm trying not to get hit. You know, people can't drive a floater. But the leader of these coats, they killed them all, fam. That's pretty much what y'all do too. Y'all take the food y'all get. You know what I'm saying? McDonald's, Publix, all y'all grocery stores, man. Don't even ask questions. You, you can read the whole ingredient label and not, not even know what's in these things, but you will trust that these crackers gonna give you something that's healthy, help you live longer. Man, we used to live like, like, like 100 years old. Folks don't even know that. I mean, not folks, but idiots. They don't even know that. And you wonder why, I mean, you think this Western society got the, the better health care. <clears throat> Man, look at us now. Over here in America, cut, cut, cut. Man, people is dying to 35 and 45, but shit. In mother countries, even though they starving and all that, they got the better, I mean, the, the, the better food if they ain't, ain't, ain't on their uh, total colonization of these, of these crackers and all that shit, man. They grow, they live longer. But you think you really think that healthcare that, god damn, man. <laughs> really think this healthcare that, uh, oh, that these devils is giving you is gonna help you live longer? Nah. You really gotta, you know, just to, get, to get back with that temple stuff I was talking about, if you ever want to clean your house, clean this up. The best thing to do, I'll say, is start with it. Start with a diet, you know, because uh, it helps the surface level of your temple. It's kind of like I mean, your, your immune system cleans all that junk out. You know, eating, eating all that uh, candy and soda and all that. And, uh, all, all that, all that. All that gunk, that gunk that we not accumulated through all the years, it really, it really ain't gonna help us clean up, clean out the temple out. I mean, you can have a good heart. You no know, people, are, I mean, I, people are nice and all that, but that heart, you gonna, you gonna give, uh, give it more unnecessary stress. You know what I'm saying? More unnecessary stress. And you know, change to eating more greens, stuff that is green. Plants, fruits, you know what I'm saying? Some other brothers told me this one time, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you, put, you take, you pick, you take a whole bunch of plants, put them in the sun, and you can make, nothing but life can come from it. Jungles and forests, mountains and all that, all that grow from greens, the earth. That's, that's the original, you know, source of all that, the earth. Why we why we feel like we, we we can't get these proteins or anything else from anything else but that? Why we feel like we can only get them from the meat? You know what I'm saying I ain't bashing meat eaters nothing like that, but the consumptions that we that got going on with us, you know, if you got melanin in your skin, oh, that, that that kills uh, the whole age process of thing. Cause uh, the one thing about melanin, they got a uh, this little little cell this little cell in them. Well, you know it. It helps us uh, age better, live longer. You know what I'm saying? You know that, I mean, you need like, to do your own study on that. There's a lot of new stuff going on out there. A lot of stuff in the history they don't want to talk about in the media. What's up, y'all, to do that stuff?
open the book. Get on, uh, know the internet. Ask your homies. Say, hey, you know about this thing? You ever heard about this? Try to start some dialogue with your homies and try to get them to study up on that too. So, myself, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to work on that, but being, being in the world, the world of people who, they, who have become fools, it's kind of hard, but you know, I'm keeping my spirits up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody said it was going to be easy, but you know, believe me, I'm going to stay up. What about you? Talk with your people. Be about your people. You know what I'm saying? That's all I gotta say.